Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And we are standing in front of the Quartermaster Dark Elf here. We're going to go ahead and talk to him. We've already done a couple quests in his line. Uh, he had us go over here and kill a couple of these skeletons. Uh, the first time, get some bone chips. The second time, he wanted us to get some uh, weapons that have fallen off that we can give to our pets. Uh, so let's see what he has for us now. Well, Matt. Have you the weapons? Yes, I have them. Again, I am impressed. You may be surprised to know how hard it is to find good workers around here. Let's see here. Bone fragments? Weapons? Ah, wood? Care for another job? Certainly. North of here are the remnants of recent attempts to construct upon the field of ruins. Never mind the fools who thought it was a good idea. Their building materials can be used to construct barricades and strengthen our pre-existing dwellings. Specifically, I speak of the wood they're left behind laying around. I'd like you to retrieve it. I can do that. Useful materials, level 8. You get at least 2 silver, 17 copper, plus a new pair of pants, which is a dark pathfinder leggings, treasure no trade, 6 agility, chain armor legs, mitigation 45, level 8, and for all scouts. Again, depending on the class you're playing, you'll get a different reward. In the old days, they used to show you all the rewards this quest would give you in this little bar down here, and you'd have to pick out the one you wanted, which meant that people could pick out ones that they not necessarily could use on that character, but maybe on a different alt they could pick out, and they kind of did away with that. So now you only get the quest reward for the, the, clear, the, the character you're playing, which is, I guess, a little bit better, but kind of unfortunate for those who wanted to tweak out uh, a pre-existing character. Good. Collect pieces of wood, and we're going to go ahead and see where that is. I don't know what that noise is. So right over here is where I need to collect the wood. So let's head off in this direction. We'll have to go around the fence, obviously. Make sure our uh, our partner is ready. I think he might still be getting one. There he goes. So we can go around these guys. You can always fight them if you have to, or if you want to. Here we go. There's some wood up here. That's a good thing about having a pet, is that you can let the pet mess with it while you loot. Okay, we got one out of six. So we need to get a few others. Uh, remember, on this one, it's going to be one of those things where you both have to get six, so try to share them, try to not to uh, be too greedy. You may even be able to loot the exact same one if you click on it at the exact same time. Now, I'm not sure on that one. Don't hold me to it, but it's worth a try. If you both click it, you may be able to get the same piece of wood. Or it may just go to the person who clicked it first, whether it's, you know, a microsecond beforehand. Which means if you're doing this quest and somebody else is doing it, whether they're part of your group or not, uh, you may have to contend with that as well as somebody just running around stealing all this stuff. Quite a bit of wood over here, so it's not too difficult to get it. I think that's all the wood I need. Let's come over here and help him out. I'm sure he can have uh, plenty of time to to loot, and I'll watch his back while he does it. Boom. <laughs> These guys are easy. Just letting him know I got my six, so they're all his. Looks like there's a book here. I bet that's for another quest down the road. Two more. So there's some over here. At least one. and take this guy on so he can not have to worry about it. And you can see they spawn pretty quickly, so even if somebody else is running around looting them, you don't have to wait too long. Also, if you're not able to get in here, if these guys are too high or, or just too difficult for you to kill, and you find one that's kind of on the outskirts, you can just sit there and wait for it to, to spawn over and over again and get that same one. So it's an easy kind of way to do a quest that may be too difficult or too high for you. Uh, there's certain zones that have quests like this that are really, really high level. And you get them when you're like 10 levels lower. Uh, and you can still finish them off because you can do a little trick like that. So it's kind of cool. Greetings. Did you gather the wood? I did. Here you go. Useful materials, level 8. So it's 2 silver, 48 copper, 
plus a new pair of pants, which I can actually wear, so it's pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and put those on as well. Go ahead and check that out. Where are the pants? There we go. You can see my outfit changed right here. You can even turn your guy around. Don't forget, you also have an appearance tab, so if you get items that you want to have on here for just for looks, the stats aren't very good, you can put them in there and your guy will constantly have that up. Uh, let's see, did I get anything else? I don't think so. Still can't wear any of this. Okay, so we'll close that down. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. If you like these episodes, please hit the like button, subscribe. Definitely leave comments down below. I always love to hear back from you guys on what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see in the future, and things of that sort. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.